December 9th. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him, James 1 verse 12. If we could but keep in memory the fact that every trial, every persecution, every difficulty of life, permitted to come upon those who have made the covenant of sacrifice with the Lord, is intended to prove them, to test their love, to see whether or not their characters are fixed, rooted and grounded in righteousness, and being built up in love, it would put all these trials, difficulties and temptations in a new light before us, and greatly assist us in fighting a good fight and overcoming. We would say, if by these little trials the Lord is proving my love and devotion to Him, then, however trifling they may be or however important, I will diligently use them as favorable opportunities to demonstrate to my Lord the fullness of my love and devotion to Him and His cause. Temptation in this verse means trial, test. To endure temptation means while cheerfully bearing tests, to persevere victoriously amid them in well-doing. The Christian life is full of trials, we must be tested and stand approved in every point of character, before we can be accounted worthy. Blessed are we, if we expect trials, for such expectation will prepare us for them. Twice blessed are we, if we are being tested, for this gives us opportunities to overcome. And thrice blessed are we, if we faithfully endure our trials unto complete victory, for after our testing is successfully completed, the fruition of our hope will be ours. Life everlasting in the kingdom, with all that it implies in disposition, nature, sights, honors, associations, inheritance and work, will surely become ours. By an oath God has covenanted this to the seed, and the seed consists of those consecrated ones who love God supremely. Questions, in what trials did I gain victory this week? How? With what results? Poems of Dawn, 45, The Refining. Mal. 3 colon 3, T.I.S. Sweet to feel that he who tries. The silver takes his seat. Beside the fire that purifies, lest too intense a heat. Raised to consume the base alloy. The precious metals, too, destroy. Tis good to think how well he knows. The silver's power to bear. The ordeal through which it goes and that with skill and care. He'll take it from the fire when fit, with his own hand to polish it. Tis blessedness to know that he, the peace he hath begun, will not forsake till he can see, to prove the work well done. His image, by its brightness known, reflecting glory like his own. But ah! How much of earthly mold, dark relics of the mine, lost from the ore, must he behold? How long must he refine, ere in the silver he can trace the first faint semblance of his face? Thou great refiner, sit thou by, thy promise to fulfill. Moved by thy hand, beneath thine eye, and melted at thy will, O may thy work forever shine, reflecting beauty pure as thine.